we found cash. Three, two, one. Oh my god! Welcome, Welcome back to Treasure Hunter with Jeebus, guys. And today we're going down to Richmond for another storage unit. So it's actually raining outside right now, unfortunately. This is what we're doing intro inside. It feels kind of weird. I like the beautiful <laughs> outdoors. But anyway, we picked up a unit online. Very, very cheap. But there seems to be something on top that's covering everything. So we have no idea what we're about to go get our hands into. Fingers crossed, it's treasure. Don't forget to like the videos, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it. So here we are again at another storage facility. We got this one really, really cheap. This is only a $30 unit, mostly because there's a mattress topper covering everything. So for real, this is a huge gamble. We have no idea what's under there. It could be gold bars, could be literal crap. I have no idea. But for 30 bucks, we're taking the risk to bring you guys a video. So without further ado, let's get digging. Unfortunately, our windshield is being replaced, so we don't have our car, and guess what was in there? My glove. So we have to be really careful on this one and make sure we look at what we're doing. First things first, though, like we said, there is a huge mattress chopper in here. Thick one. It is. The one we have, we got it at a yard sale for $10, but when we looked it up, it was like a $350 mattress chopper, so no idea. Some of these are like super cheap, some of them are super expensive. That one seems like a super expensive one. Oh, joy. Look at all these clothes. Yay. There's oh, man. Right there. There's what? An Adidas box. Adidas box. Uh, some mats. I don't know. Let's start going through it. All right, let's see. I guess we'll start with my favorite place to search, the trash okay. can. Let's see what we got in here. The trash is not filled with trash. Might be. Well, to us, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just gonna throw this stuff away. <laughs> Probably donate most of what we can. Pillows, looks like the, all the bedding set. You furted. Money! Yes, 21 cents in there. Oh yeah, that's where the right here. We do have a couple of nice suitcases. We sell every suitcase. I think I said in the last video, we have a guy that buys all of them. I don't know what they do with them exactly, but they buy all of them for 10 bucks. So the suitcases will be pretty much almost all the money back right there. So that's good. Let's see what you need though. Our guy sends, um, fills the suitcases with stuff and sends them to his family in Africa, I think. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. Oh, I think ball. a lot of people do that. A, crap a lot ton of people suitcases. who have family all overseas. Nothing in there, unfortunately. Let's get into the main part of this sucker. If it'll open. Open! Other way. Other zipper. <laughs> okay. There you go. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Let's turn it around. I feel like I have an idea what it's gonna be. Let's hope not. Three, two, one. Oh, it's different. What is that? No, not precision tools. It's supposed to be a gun case. Let's see what we got in the case. You ready? A hammer. Okay. okay. Joy. A pink hammer out of everything. It looks like some tools in here actually. They're all pink. Look at that. It's got a little pink. razor blade. The blade's not in there. Right. <laughs> I think you can buy packs of blades though. Yeah, you can. Tape measure. What's this thing? What is that? Caliber. Oh, it's to find studs in the wall. This is what we needed when we were hanging up shelf and we didn't use it, so now it's kind of just there. It's like leaning. One day it's gonna go boom. Oh. Curtains? Are those new curtains? Is that a Calvin Klein jacket right there? It might be. Two new packs of brand new curtains. Do they have prices on them? They don't, but no way they don't bring at least five bucks a piece. Look at that. Oh, Looks nice. kind of cool. Should I toss it? Yeah, don't uh -uh. break it. Break it! <laughs> don't break it. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, like an HDMI. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that? Cannot. Will it focus? Uh, kind of Nintendo. It says Nintendo. All right. Come on. Give me something good. This is a Calvin Klein purse, actually. Not a jacket. Still. Look like jacket material. Not bad. That's a good first suitcase. Now let's see what's in the purple one. This one's a traveler's club, but again, even if it's empty, I know it's not empty because I just lifted it up. It's still 10 bucks, and this is only a $30 unit, so stuff's gonna add up fast. Let's see if we can figure out how to get inside of it. Oh. Is it? No, the side you just picked up, it's smashed. No. Oh. Maybe we'll get five bucks. 
Alright, you ready? Ugh. Yeah, at least they look like different stuff and not clothes. I, th I thought all these were gonna be clothes. Medical stuff. Oh, family pictures. Let's see what we see in there. These are all family pictures and things like that. Hopefully, this place takes them and gives it back. Um, other than that, this is all personal stuff in there. So we also have this nice lamp up here. This should easily bring five bucks, maybe 10 actually. It's pretty tall. I didn't realize how tall it is. It's in half. Does it work? I get screwed. That's a tall one. Now it'd be $10. Minimum five at least. <laughs> Let's see what's in this little thing. Drawers, this the is a cool the little mystery thing too. Drawers. Ooh, they're heavy. This is pretty cool too. I mean, this thing itself will bring like $10. Easy. What do you think is inside though? Sure. Ooh, a wallet? Is it, is it the drawer itself that's heavy? I think it's the dresser, yeah, whatever you want to call it. It's an American Eagle wallet purse thing. Nothing in it. This thing that every cat in every cartoon wants to play with. It's in the bottom. Aww. Nothing. Just the drawer, is that okay? Still, like I said, this will bring like 10 bucks. Easy. So this tote we just brought over from the back and it looks like, what is this? Mm, the top to the trash can. Oh, is it? It's one of those. Yeah. Oh, cool. Press to open one. Maybe worth a little more than I thought then. One of those heat bags that they use it for like food delivery. Ooh, a router. We usually get like $40 to $50 as long as they're not locked out. So that should be good right there. That could double the money. Or come close to doubling the money the whole thing. Bunch of shoes. Sperry's, Nike's, Polo. Jeez, they're tall. Look like all donations so far. Franco Sarto. Never heard of that. Uh, other than that, we got the router, which is good money. So we got a printer here. It looks pretty old, to be honest. I mean, an MG3022. It's a Canon. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's probably old and not worth much, but I don't know. It seems good. At least, at least looks like it's in good shape. Even a crappy printer. I don't know if people buy them for parts or what, but we've even sold broken parts for five bucks at the flea market. My pillow. <laughs> My pillow. Um, Ew. Oh, is that makeup bag? Yeah. I was like, that's why it looks so gross. Hey, a nice iron. Hamilton Beach. Hopefully it has some value, but my pillow. Oh my gosh, like who else lit loves this guy's commercial? Like, <laughs> that he has the best commercials on TV. The My Pillow guy. <laughs> but I gotta admit, this feels like crap. It just feels like a cheap Walmart pillow. Yeah. So glad I never wasted forty dollars. If you guys have a my pillow, let us know how it really feels. And there's a scale. I don't like those. Inhaler and some other random bathroom stuff. Oh, these are Ray Bans. Mm -hmm. Boom. Once those clean up, that'll be some money right there. I mean, they're kind of beat up and dirty, but I think most of that'll come off with some wipes. So that should still be thirty bucks easy. So we're trying to get to into the stuff over here, but by the way, we found another lamp. It's not broken, every piece screws in. So this is another five to $10 lamp right there. They're actually in good shape. They just come apart. The Adidas box. It's got weight to it. Think they're in there? Yes. Ooh, they're new. Nike cleats or Adidas cleats? Oh, they're cleats. I don't know about Adidas. I know like some Nike, like if it was a shoe, it'd be a hundred dollars and the cleats like $20. I don't know why, I hate that. But that could be something. Another trash can. Another trash can. Oh yeah, some more bedding stuff. It's to be that way. Yeah, more bedding stuff in that one as well. Boring. Boom. Where do we go to now? The back. This? Yeah. All right, let me get it out and we'll be right back. So we got this thing up, but before we did that, we noticed this in there, a nice Kate Spade purse. There's also a no brand purse that just fell on the ground, but no brands get like five bucks. Kate Spade, we get more than that. Let's see. What's it say? Happily ever after. Oh. What does that say? B R Bird. Bird. Oh. Me too. There's a Verizon, I guess Fios. A glove. Louisville. Nice Louisville glove there. What are these? This is like the storage bar thing. They're like, all right, these look interesting. They look, oh, we gotta go no, check no, this out. Let's go get them checked out. We just happen to know somewhere, somebody, <laughs> everywhere. Must be nice to have a TV production. 
There's a nice little clock, five bucks, maybe more. Yes. Whatever it is, King from Ross. Oh, life is tough, but so are you. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. Motivational woods, what I need in my life. <laughs> I know what that is. The bra pad. Stop. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is that? Another like cable thing. So is that. Um, looks like a vase? candle and vase. Looks like a few of those in there. there. I mean, the rest of this household the core stuff in there. There's like three vases and four paintings. No way we don't get at least 20, 25 bucks for that stuff too. All right guys, so we moved all the clothes over and from what we can see, it looks like a bunch of donation stuff. I don't think there's gonna be anything high end in there, but we'll of course double check. But now let's get into the tote. Fingers crossed it's not just full of more clothes. Let's hope it's gold bars. I don't know, something like that. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God. Joy, joy, joy. Hey, there's a, eh, it's just a t-shirt. Make I sure mean, there's nothing in the bottom. Yeah, we will. <sighs> doesn't look too promising. It really, really doesn't. There's an Under Armour backpack. But other than that, looks like all clothes. There's some jean shorts. Oh, yeah, they fit me, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think I look good. If you want to see me wear these, let me know in the comments. Please don't, because I'm not. <laughs> uh... No, I think they, it will. Oh, there's something new. What is that? Come here. Come here. Okay, a new pair of pants for <laughs> Cherokee. They don't have a brand name in them, on them, but they're brand new. So at least we got something there. I guess let's move these clothes over and see if we have anything else here or not. All right, guys. So the only other thing we found in here other than clothes is this mini ironing board here. The full size ones we get like 10 bucks usually, so I'm gonna guess like five. Other than that, we have a unit full of clothes. Literally, just packed full of clothes. Never underestimate clothes though. If you're a normal person doing this, you can throw a whole table of clothes, charge a dollar a piece, and make a crap ton of money. But for us, most likely, this is probably all donations, but we'll go through everything in more detail. And then when we get home, we'll let you know if we found anything interesting, any interesting story, anything along those lines at the recap. So I will see you then. All right guys, so we just finished looking through everything in the storage unit. As far as big finds, there really wasn't much more, but I do have a couple of interesting things to tell you. Story, along with a few weird finds I don't really think have value, but it's still cool nonetheless. So number one, we found cash. <laughs> Not much of it, of course, but <laughs> we, we went into the, all the pants pockets like we usually do, and guess what one of them had in there? Not five. Six, seven, eight, nine dollars. Woo! You smell that? Money's money. It smells like victory. <laughs> nine dollars. Okay, it was, it was a thirty dollar unit. So, in retrospect, I mean, that's really like almost a third of the money back right there. So, <laughs> I'll take it. Number two, we found a phone. One of my favorite things. I was hoping a flash drive, but a phone told us a little bit of a story. Not no like not much illegal activity, I should say, but a lot of arguing between a husband and a wife. So this told a lot of that. We also found in the, what was that? The book bag, the suitcase, it had all kinds of papers in it. A lot of those were divorce papers. So we see what happened. And the reason this all happened is because apparently the husband, according to these texts, was abusing pain pills. So I guess the wife decided she's done. She dumped him because he was using pain pills. So not a drug dealer this time, a drug addict. We're switching it up out here somehow. <laughs> but as far as other finds, we found a stack of these weird little I think they're um, Las Vegas casino coins. It says Planet Hollywood and stuff like that on it. I, I mean, I would assume this is just like a little novelty thing you can get at the casinos in Vegas. I believe we've only been to Vegas one time and it wasn't at Planet Hollywood. Where were we at? Mm. Luxor. Yeah. Yeah. I was about <laughs> like, to say uh... the pyramid. <laughs> I was about to be like the pyramid, but we have a few of these coins. Some of them are different. This one says Planet Hollywood and has like a spade on the back of it right there. This one's all, they're all playing in Hollywood, but they're different designs. And this one has like some girl on it. And that's the same thing here. So we have five of these weird little coins. And this one is the one that's gonna spark a lot of debate in the comments. And I want you guys to talk about it, cause it's funny, but 
we found a half dollar in a case, all right? Just a half dollar? Not quite. It's a Donald Trump half dollar. When did they start making Donald Trump half dollar? Seriously, look at that. I had, I mean, at first I was like, there's no way it's real, but apparently you can get these online. I was looking them up and I've seen like such varying prices. Apparently they have like silver plated ones that are worth like 40 and $50. And they also have little cheap ones you can get from overseas that are like two bucks. So I don't know how to tell if that's real or not, but I gotta admit, a Donald Trump coin, that, that's a first for me. Yeah. But kind of cool actually <laughs> not gonna lie that's pretty cool right there but literally that's it everything else you saw in the video was all we found still a good unit thirty dollars i mean I, I don't think people wanted to touch it because of the mattress topper so once it got out of the way still made a ton of money on this one and like we said cool coins interesting story cash and Don't you know <laughs> controversy with people so what else can you ask for in a storage unit but anyway guys that's going to be it for this one thank you so much for watching the video if you did enjoy it make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up and if you're not already hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time and if you want to follow us on our social media links they're going to be on screen right here or you can click the links down in the description below make sure you follow us on whatever you have thank you so much for watching and until next time peace out